live. This is Live Miami at 11. After much anticipation, the construction of the new Patricia and Philip Frost Museum of Science has begun. Its unique construction and innovative facilities are like no other. We've got President and CEO of the Miami Science Museum, Jillian Thomas, here, along with wildlife keeper, Victoria Cano. We've got a little preview. Now, I know it's a one-of-a-kind facility. Tell me about some of the new things that maybe uh, our community has never seen before that they're going to be able to see. Well, we're building on everything we've had that you've enjoyed for so long at the new existing museum but it will be completely different bigger and better and with additional features so while we've always had wildlife that people have enjoyed in our animal clinic at the new museum we also have a series of aquaria starting from out in the Gulf Stream going into the mangroves wow. and then deep down into the deep sea with all the science research that's going on in the area here but giving you a wide variety of hands-on activities as well as these wonderful aquaria to gaze into. And you know I can see why it's called the living core because I mean there's so much uh, life within there. One of those lives of course being this beautiful friend that you brought with us today. Victoria can you tell me who this is? Well this is an eastern screech owl. His name is Screecho. He's one of our um, imprinted owls that we have at the museum and uh, he's actually full grown. People like to think that he's a baby, but this is his size. He's not gonna get any bigger. And uh, yeah, he just came by to say hi. There's that cuteness factor. You kind of want to squeeze <laughs> yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little yeah. stuffed animal. Now, what is it like to see the kids uh, getting excited about animals like this, getting excited about learning about science? I mean, that must be what drives you guys, seeing That's that excitement. Absolutely. Well, we say they're ambassadors for the environment because they really tell a great story. Each animal has its story and how it came to be at the yeah. museum, and it really brings that to life with people. And you can get very close to it. So it's very important for you to be able to get up close and hear these individual stories. The, but the actually best develop way to inspire a real kids love well. for the environment and the a research for the future. Absolutely. Yeah. And well, in talking about setting a good example here, the yeah. whole the whole museum is going to be very sustainable. I mean, there's this whole sustainability lesson that you'd like to pass on to your audience there. Absolutely. We say our building is our biggest exhibit, so every feature of the building will be something that you can enjoy. From the green part of the living core, even our roof will be an urban garden with fruits and vegetables growing, and then you could take those down to our People and Science Gallery and learn more about the science oh, behind I was cooking. Say, can you eat them while you're Yes, there? that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then the exercise and sport and the whole range of things from dinosaurs through to the farthest reaches of the stars. No. And a wonderful new planetarium. Yes. Because that's been one of the things everybody's loved here in Miami so much for so long. I think as a meteorologist, that has to be my first stop. Absolutely. Like, I'll right to the planetarium. <laughs> but it's been there over 40 years. The new one will have stacked seating with whole wrap round wow. sound and vision. And then also still a star ball, so you can have these wonderful experiences of the Everglades at night, but it can also take you down under the ocean or inside the human body. In fact, anywhere that you would like to go, the new planetarium will take you there. I'm already hungry to go there. I mean, it sounds absolutely magnificent. Talk to me quickly here about the two educational programs that you have coming up. These, these are very cool new programs, the Science Stars and the Internship Program, very unique to yes. kids locally. Indeed, we're working with the school board to have a range of, of internships at our new museum that will focus on all the jobs for the future, because wow. that's one of the things that's very important for Miami to have the technical skills that we need and the innovation that needs to go with that to make us a really great place for the future. So that's starting now in a pilot way and then we'll continue and expand in the new museum. Oh my gosh, I'm sure Victoria would agree with me. I would have loved a program like that. When, yeah, oh, of course. I, I mean, it, are you just like a proud science mama here? <laughs> You've been working on this for so long and finally you're really seeing well, it come so to life. Well, so many people have, and that's the great thing about the Science Museum. It's got such support in the community. These projects start as a twinkle in somebody's eye, and then so many people work towards them having. We all think we're very lucky to be able to participate and make this a wonderful resource for all the people in Miami for the future. Well, we're all very lucky to see that twinkle in your eye Thank as well, you. because it's going to turn into something quite magnificent. Thank you so much, Thank ladies, you. for being here today. Thank you. For more information, about the museum, you can visit miamisci.org slash blog or call 305 4, oh, excuse me, 646 4200. The number is there on your screen.